We just sat down watching the Oxford versus Cambridge boat race. It's happened every year for about 180 years. Cambridge have won the last three. Cambridge are winning. They've won five more than Oxford over all these years. Mazzy wants. Who do you want? Obviously Cambridge. Go on, boys. Because it's near where you're from. Absolutely, yes. I don't want Cambridge because they are favourites. They've been winning loads of times. Yeah, that's not a good enough reason. All right, though. well, I have got a really good reason. Because the roads in Cambridge are disgusting. They will... If you're waiting to come down a, a road, they will not let you out. It, 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 I'm sure Oxford is just the same, darling. Cambridge's traffic is the worst traffic I've ever known in my life. I hate Cambridge traffic. So I want Oxford. And Oxford... Oxford are in the lead, yes. Oxford are winning by a mile! Hold on, they're not on their last stretch yet. Coming up to their last stretch. The boys are going to power it. Yeah, there is, there is space. There's about, I don't know, less than a quarter of the race to go. But the winning by about 85,000 boat lengths. We need to go to Oxford. It's a bit of a gap there, isn't there? What do we mean? Why do we have to go to Oxford? Because there is a campsite near near the centre of Oxford, and I'm sure Oxford will be better than Cambridge. Stop it! Come on, Oxford! Victory, you have got to stay relaxed and just try to enjoy this moment as best you can. So they end the Cambridge dominance in this race, past the finish post. Get in there! Get in there! Come on, Oxford! Ah, who are you? Who are you? I could have done better than you on my own! Mazzy, you lost. Cambridge lost. Well done to the boys of Oxford. Yay! Come on, Oxford! That's why we buy an Oxford dictionary and not a rubbish Cambridge one. Bless you. Good old Oxford. They must be knackered. They, they will be tired, Mazzy. They will be tired. As you can tell, I've got a problem with Cambridge. I hate Cambridge. You hate anywhere that's people. near mine. You hate Bury St Edmunds. You'd hate you hate Ipswich Town Football Club. You just because it's near me, and you've always got to be argumentative with me. I'm not rising to it. And that, my friends, is what you call a bad loser. See you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning. Were they only van here now? Yeah, they all left today. Yeah, there were about, ooh, what, six, seven, eight? No, five. Well, the day we got here. There were more. No, were they no, only no, that? No, there five of us. Yeah, yeah, they all left today. All gone. Right, we are going back into Bridge North. I think we both thought this was his last full day here. Um, yeah. But it's not. We've got two more days. <laughs> um, so we're going into Bridge North today. We're going to do the, the castle walk go around the outskirts of town and see the bits we haven't seen i'm looking forward to this i'm a bit annoyed do you want to just hold that mazzy i'm a bit annoyed because i got all dressed up up i put my waistcoat on a tie i even had braces on i looked dapper yeah but it's, it's too cold to rain and it's freezing it's too cold <laughs> so i've had to put my coat on and hide it all anyway <laughs> never mind are you looking forward to this? Yeah. You seem a bit tired today. No. You yeah, alright? Yeah. Right. Are we going to walk up the stairs today then? Probably. I don't know. Um, I was told they're haunted, them steps. Oh, up the steps? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's haunted. Oh, okay. So, do you remember somebody was spying on our van yesterday, Mazzy? Oh, yes. Taking pictures, <laughs> sitting in my chair. <laughs> Um, I know who it was. Yeah, you told me. So I got an email. <laughs> uh, here it is. Hi, Dan and Mazzy. It was my mum <laughs> and dad. And they're very big fans of yours. And they've been watching for years. She didn't think you was in and wanted a quick picture sitting in the famous seat. Aww. <laughs> but after being told that you was in there, she was extremely embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> it's a shame that she didn't meet you as she really wanted to. Mm. Thanks for being good sports about it. Love from the Barnbrook family and some pictures of the dogs. Oh, you should have known. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Barnbrook. 
We know who you are, and there's the dogs. Can you see them? They were massive. So today we've decided to go up the steps, which are directly at the side of the cable car type thing. Mazzy fancied trying up here, and she's counting the steps. How many so far? 57. 57. Yeah. Uh, we're told in the comments, and I think I read about it, these steps are supposed to be haunted. But I don't know the story behind the haunting. And I haven't seen any ghosts. Well, we're seeing the top. How many steps, Mazzy? 188. 188, really? I'll tell you what, that's the better way of getting up rather than up the hill. It's a lot quicker. Yeah. Isn't there 188 at Whitby? I'm sure that's exactly uh, the same amount. I might be wrong. Don't know. Don't know. Someone let me know. I'm sure it's 188 at Whitby. Oh, it does you good, doesn't it? That's a lot easier than walking around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot easier. <laughs> so this is where we left you yesterday. Where we met as new friends, the family are out about here. <coughs> so we're going to see what what is up here. Castle, I don't know. Castle walk, in it. A castle ruin, I think it is, and a church possibly. Oh. And I'm told the castle's a strange shape or something. One of the walls is a really weird shape. Don't know. It feels a lot quieter today. It's. Uh, it's more us, isn't it? Yeah. Just walking along and notice them. Very gnarly tree. So we've got the lovely red sandstone again. <coughs> Beautiful view of the bridge and the River Severn. You feel high up up here, don't you? It does feel high up, yeah. Yeah. Under here is where the cliffs are. Which uh, the uh, tunnely bit? <coughs> Was it tunnels? Yeah. <coughs> cave. Cave things. Somebody's cave. Yeah. Scoop the poop. I like that. I like that. The locals done that. Just noticing up here. See the purple there. The flowers there. Can't really film it because there's a lady sat there. But the most vibrant purple flowers. Beautiful. Looks incredible. Yeah. Try and get a quick peek. Castle Hill Cottage. Look at them. For this time of year, that looks incredible. Library steps. We've seen two lots of steps going down, apart from the ones we went on. on. Not sure if they go all the way down to the bottom or not. Yeah, I wouldn't want to chance it. You'd have to go back up again, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Still not seeing a castle. We have passed the church, but it was a modern, boring looking one, to be honest with you. So we didn't stop. So we've come as far as it goes. It starts turning in now. Our motorhome is the other side of that bridge, but we can't see it from here because of the trees. Looks like a railway station down there, maybe, possibly. Oh yeah, there's a steam train in there, Mazzy. Hours, yeah, it's it? a tiny bit too far for us to see it, but we can yeah, see the smoke. Yeah, you can see it in the distance. Yeah. So, yeah. so that must be a steam railway train there. I can hear it. Hear what? I thought I could hear a train coming in. No, I think it's a van. Where can you hear the bells? Uh, there's a nice park here, which we'll have a little walk mm. through. And the castle must be up there somewhere. Carry on. I think we should walk through the park. I'm sure it's going to take us out there. Come on then. Lovely, peaceful park, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really nice. There's yeah. one thing I don't like about parks. What? It's when you get people on their own just sat there in benches. You feel like they must have problems. They ain't got problems. They just come to chill out. They, that man was reading a book. Just having a bit of me time. All oh, right. <sighs> Like, I wouldn't do that, you see. I wouldn't go to a park and sit down and do nothing. I suppose so. You quite have often gone pondering in your past, darling. Oh, I ponder. I do yeah. ponder, but I tend to be walking as I ponder. I'm not a sit-downy kind of guy. Right, someone did say there's a nice uh, World War Memorial here, and there certainly is. Uh, 
He's got a nice view from up there. In honour of the men of Bridge North. I like what they did there. They put up all these things at the end of World War One. And then World War Two came along, so they had to add an extra plaque and says, oh, it's for the Second World War as well. Rather than build another one for the Second World War, guys. <laughs> so I think, I think we're about here. I think we're in the castle grounds. And the castle itself, which is from 1101, is over there. You've got a good eye, Mazzy. Yeah. The hedges are, this one's in the shape of a plane. Uh, a boat there and a tank over there that must have taken a few years to get like that right we're gonna film this castle now but we have to make it quick before it falls over <laughs> can you see though I don't think it's doing it justice on the camera that is level and it's as if it's all like caved over I wonder if somebody monitors that each year to see how much more movement that's tipping. Because that's, that's quite drastic, isn't it? Yeah, they will. I'm sure they'll have to. I'm sure they'll have wow. to. Wow. What does this say? Mm. Uh, nothing exciting. Okay, I wonder if we can get in there then. Uh, There's a sign yeah. here. I doubt it, I'd say that'd be dangerous. There has been some fighting here in the past. Parliamentarians, Charles the First, Henry someone. I'm, I, I'm, I can't be bothered with my history this morning. It's too early. You'd think that would be too dangerous. They'd have to really knock that down, wouldn't they? You can't knock it down. I know what it? you're saying, but that's dangerous, isn't it? I can only guess they've put some big metal things, like screws holding it up. I don't know. Look at this little area, look. This is nice. The old park is lovely. Yeah. There is one gardener in here, and he, if that's his job, just to come here every day and make it look this pretty, that is exactly the job I wanted when I was a gardener. And he's doing a very good job. Good yeah. on you, Mr. Gardener. Just leave me on my own in my garden, and I'll make it look beautiful forever, and give me a wage for it at the end of every week. Oh, I recognise him. Who's he? Isn't he that American president? Isn't that Abraham Lincoln? Am I seeing things there? I thought it was, but I don't know. <laughs> Might be wrong. Palm trees. Lovely blossom. Beautiful monkey tree. A Victorian lady. A man with a pink watering can as a head. I say she was Victorian, she looks more like from the 40s, 20s. Does it matter? <laughs> and over here you've got another train. They're everywhere these trains, they're very proud of the trains here. I don't think I can get round that way. I'm going to have to cut across. The Guild of the Bridge North Free Men. The oath of a Burgess of or Freeman. I shall true Burgess. Uh, I can't read it. Can't read it. If you want to have a go, go for it. Fill your boots. I, I find it ironic that it's saying it's something to do with free man, and it's like celebrating the fact that this is the world's first fare-paying passenger railway. There's nothing free about that. Did you enjoy your park? It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. You can see more this side, I think, how angled that is. Do you think? No, I no. think as we walked up to it, it looked, it was the best angle. It's, it's so well kept, it's lovely here. Electric hookup. Yeah. Mm. Bins, toilets. This looks like it goes into town. That's correct. We've done the Does walk, Mazzy. So you just do a set, so we don't have to go back? Nope. Oh, okay. 
House prices. Yay! It's very cheap, Mazzy, here in Bridge North. I can't see prices. Well, you've got that one there, 260,000. Yeah, that's not Bridge North. All right, well, this one is. £110,000. Oh, wow, last year. Like an ex council house. Uh... Oh, yeah, you'd have to spend 40, 30, 40,000 doing that. Look at the state of it. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the beauty of a new house, isn't it? Doing it up. <laughs> Yeah, 110,000 for an ex council. That's really good considering the prices yeah. we've seen not far from here. What else? Any more? No, we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> Man toys. Man toys. It's actually a barber. Is it? Yeah. The barbers? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a toy shop. Uh, Darth Vader. I like this saying, Mazzy, we're no longer on holiday now, right? Yeah. We'll go on another holiday soon. Yeah. This is no longer a vacation, it's a quest for fun. Mm, I like this one up there. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Yeah. Sayings out of famous films. And there's actually a board game Somebody's shop over got there. Three Easter eggs in there. Oh their my cool. god, they have. <laughs> three dairy milks. <laughs> and it smells nice here, you know, like. Yeah. What is that? Pies. It might be that Greg's, you know, that smelled quite nice yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Greg's. <laughs> I have to say, we're not in, was not impressed with that church at all. It looked very modern, very boring. We didn't even go in the grounds, did we? Let's go back to your pork pie you had last night, because we didn't really film you eating your tea, did we? Did the, you enjoy it in the The pork end? pie was very nice. Um, too much fat in it. Uh, the pork scratchings went in the bin. They Just, looked disgusting yeah. this morning. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. You didn't even eat them, did you? No. <laughs> um, someone left a comment saying it wasn't that woman who cooked them. That it is actually a butcher's in Wolverhampton. I thought Wolverhampton sent far away when you read. But she said that she is, although there was a sign, wasn't there? Handmade. Yeah. She don't we're not far, mean by her. We're not though. far from Wolverhampton, really. Aren't we? No, no. Oh. Um, but yeah, wasn't that impressed, to be honest with you. And in the comments, God, the amount of people saying you've got to have pork pies cold. Yes. Rubbish. Ru you've, I bet, I bet 90% of them people have never had a warm pork pie. Until you've had one, don't knock it. I don't it. think I'd like it. This is really weird now. We can't, we're at the back of the town, aren't we? Yeah, we stopped at the other side of the market hall there yesterday. We haven't been on this side. Yeah, it's a nice pub here, look. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah, I did see. I filmed that. I'm sure I did. No, we didn't come down this far. Hello? Unless if you're pointing in far in the distance. Maybe there's two called Shakespeare. I don't know. I definitely filmed Shakespeare in. Right, let's quickly call. I'm a bit confused as to where we are Actually, now. Actually, you did because you videoed the post office, didn't you? Yeah. Well, how the where are we? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, confused. Oh, well, maybe then. We have done this side of the market square and we haven't done the other side. Really? Quite, quite possibly, yeah. Oh, okay. That's so seem familiar as such. All right. Anyway, I'm noticing this beautiful brick building here. Yeah, that's nice. Which is a, another Costa cost, Coffee. Costa cost a lot. <laughs> with a brown sign on the wall, so I'm going to check that out. Yeah, not impressed by the uh, Costa Coffee thing. They've ruined that building, it looks rubbish inside. What was it? it? What did the plaque say? Something about a market or something, I don't know. Oh. Don't know. This looks nice, look. Museum shop. I just love all the different colour bricks, it's lovely. Yeah. A bit like a patchwork quilt. A little bit, but in bricks. Yeah. <laughs> just past an optometrist's. Optometrist's. You know, specs shop. That's what we called them when we were kids. Optometrist. You wouldn't even know what it is, would you? Optometrists. Oh, look at those Not even trainers. opticians, optometrists. I'm not interested in you. Look at those cute trainers. Bit girly. Kebab shop, was it? Yes. Effie's. The thing about a kebab shop, it's always nice when you can see right behind the counter. It's Very spotlessly cool. clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could eat one of them now, but there's no one in. So there's a chippy there called Seagull's Ocean Boat. There is another chippy near the charity shops we went to, um, which we were highly recommended. Yes. I can't see me having fish and chips though. Still got, no. still got loads of food to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking chicken Kiev's tonight. Okay. With what? Uh, maybe another savoury rice or something like that. Okay. 
do that. And some burgers. Pushing your luck now. Yet another one. There must be about a dozen of these. Why would any place be so proud to be the place where they started charging people for passenger trains before anyone else in the world? Why would you be proud of that? So here's Bridge North. So we walked along here, crossed the bridge. We've walked up here. We've walked up the steps here. We've walked along here to there. We've walked along here, through here, down here. I think we're here, yeah, we're here. So now, we've already done that the other day. So we've just got this side to do, really. Nice to get your bearings now and again. I bet you're not gonna be able to see that, are you? There's two pigeons nesting on top of that light. Nope. Daddy's come just to make sure they're all right, bless. Coat's off, it's getting very, very warm. It's not. Have you been charity shop buying again? Yeah. Two more just tops. I just noticed these in the window, that's why I've turned the camera on, Mazzy. She's just putting some stuff in my back, hang on. These, they're like Easter things which some ladies have obviously made. They are oh, beautiful. Oh, they're like the dollies we got made, aren't they? That's like a golf clubbing one. This is like a greengrocer and butcher. And this must be like a hardware one. Really nice. <clears throat> right, onwards and upwards. I've, done, yes. I've noticed, Mazzy. What? The butchers across the road is open. Oh yeah, he looked lovely yesterday. He looked better today. It looks today. better today. Well, look yeah. at that last Mazzy. Oh, what do you want to do then? Just go up. We'll walk back down that side because I'm seeing something and I might be buying some up there. You know, like ready meals made up. There's a big oh, table full of them okay. from butchers. There's <laughs> quite a few things on here. You've got Led Zeppelin, the Eagles. Some kind of Sherlock Holmes adventure. And you get the tickets. Now I don't know where this is shown, but there is a theatre on the steps. You know the steps we walked up? After a hundred steps going up, there's a theatre. I don't know if it's all done in there. But this is today at the Market Hall. Uh, what do they call it? Town Hall? Uh, this is where it was heaving yesterday. The tractors stopped just there. It's a lot quieter today, isn't it? Yeah, it's much more pleasurable. Like an old photo of outside this building we're at. Looks exactly the same as it does today. Look at the ladies there, beautiful ladies with the dresses and the tiny bollies. Be, so I can't good. see the faces, Mazzy, to be honest. They might be really ugly. <laughs> so we're underneath the market hall now. It was full yesterday with market stalls. Got my pork pie from that stall there. Yeah. Mazzy just said, uh, can, is this for parking then? Yeah, and then I looked. I did, I'll be honest. <laughs> that was my first thought, and I thought, it's a bit narrow for parking, but no, it's just the market stalls. Right, so we've still got that side to do, and there is a shopping centre down here. Mazzy wants to have a quick look in. Yeah, Central usually court. it ain't my kind of thing, but this looks a bit different. It looks quirky, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it does say Angel, Angel's Delight on there, look. I'm intrigued. Craft Fox. I do like places like this. It comes into a little courtyard. There's a lot of like lady bits to buy, like uh, handbags over there. Oh, I'm going to be for here then. <laughs> <laughs> um, ornaments, things like that. But these are pretty cool. Look, this is the Crafty Fox we saw the sign for. Look at these wonderful lamps. You know, I've got a thing for things like this. Really nice. Yeah, it's quite quirky and there's a wonderful looking little cafe around there we'll show you in a minute. So we're just coming back through and I have to show you this menu because it's exciting me. It's cheap. <laughs> Scampi chips and peas, £6.50. Spaghetti bolognese, £6.50. Chilli con carne. It's all £6.50 every meal, has it? Yeah, except for soup. How good is That's that? That's good actually. How yeah. good is that? So yeah. if you get to Bridge North, don't be spending 20, 30, 40 quid in restaurants. Go down <laughs> this little snicket. <laughs> £6.50? Yeah. 
bargain, isn't it? I'm buzzing about that. You taking me out for lunch? Oh no. Too expensive for you, is it? Yeah, but if it were a birthday, £6.50, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? What? Don't you worry, young man. I've give up on you. So we have found another street we've not been down, the Crown. And there is a crown on the other side. I don't know if it's linked to the same place, but look at this one, the King's Head. That's a lovely building. Yeah, there seems to be a lot going on down here. Some more really cheap prices. £140,000. Not got any more Bridge North. Uh... Quite a good price. £130,000. Look, it's got a balcony, has it? I saw another one. This, uh... this is Bridge North. That's cheap for a bungalow. Like that, 300000 I think that's quite expensive, but that one's alright. Yeah. 120000 here you go, look. 160,000. It's a lot cheaper here. Yeah, mega cheap. When you compare it to like the Shrewsbury and Ironbridge areas, yeah. which aren't far away at all, massive difference. We've passed a few Tandori type places, haven't we? Yes. And you liked the look of the other one, didn't you? Yeah. I bet you're not keen on this, are you? This what are you is at? the Himalaya Tandori restaurant. Well, Mazze, I've just seen a sign awarded. Best in Shropshire. Best Italian rest, uh, Indian restaurant in Shropshire. Oh, okay. So if you're on a curry, I'm guessing that is the place to go. If it's ever open. Yeah, but like a tandoori chicken, 12 quid. You know, you could have got a meal down that other place for what was that? Six quid. Six pound fifty. I'd go to the cafe. Get get a curry from the cafe. Come to the end of that road now. They've got a cinema. Didn't realise that. Where? Across the road there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's the antique play. Oh, a antique play. There is quite a few signs for antiques, but you can't actually find the places. No. no. I've got a feeling. The one with all the multicoloured bricks behind there, I think that was an antique place, or is. It's just been renovated at the moment. Oh, okay. I think what I'm going to look out for, Mazzy, yeah. is a curry from the butchers. Oh, are you? Fancy a curry? I do now. Mm. Could murder a curry. Or go to that cafe and get a curry for £6.50 rather than pay 12 13 quid in this Tandori place. You enjoyed mine the other day, didn't you? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> I ate every bit of it. Yes. <laughs> I think I had some at three o'clock, some at eight o'clock, and some at two o'clock in the morning. Four, Beautiful. Five to four that morning, you demolished the rest of it. Beautiful. <laughs> right, we're going to leave this video here. There is a little bit more to go in town, but you've got your half an hour of video, and we need to end it with this. We got a visitor. Now, I am incredibly gutted. I did film the visitor, but I forgot to put the sound on the camera. Disaster. Um, we got a visit from the person, the stalker, the person who was sat in my chair yesterday, taking a picture of our van yesterday. She turned up, she did, with her two dogs, the two massive, lovely, beautiful dogs. Her name, I think it was Yvonne. Not 100%, I think her name is Yvonne. Lovely, lovely woman. She brought some sausages and... Is it a cake, Mazzy? Cake, yeah. I haven't even seen the cake mm -hmm. yet. I've seen the sausages. Um, and it was just so nice to... You know, because we never knew who it was, who that person was. And I didn't want to leave Bridge North without knowing. So now we know. That is the stalker lady and she is lovely. Did you just hear our theme music in the background then, Mazzy? That must be it's time to leave this video right here. See you in the morning. Bye bye.